French philosopher Ernest Renan, in his famous essay, What is a Nation?, wrote, A nation is a soul, a spiritual principle, two things which in truth are but one constitute this soul or spiritual principle. One lies in the past, one in the present. One is the possession and the common of a rich legacy of memories. The other is a present-day consent, the desire to live together, the will to perpetuate the value of the heritage that one has received in an undivided form. Renan believed a shared history created a bond that connected citizens of nations to one another. However, according to Renan, this was only a part of what made a group of people a nation. The other element of a nation's soul is comprised in the citizens' shared desire to live together. We all today share a history. September 11, 2001 is the day that for most Americans represents the worst day of their lives. This day is rivaled by few other dates in our collective memories. Most of us weren't alive December 7, 1941. Many of us weren't alive November 22nd, 1963, or April 4th, 1968. But for those of us who do not remember the attack on Pearl Harbor, and or the assassinations of John F. Kennedy or Martin Luther King Jr., all would agree that September 11th is burned in our collective consciousness in ways no other event has ever been before. <clears throat> We all watched in hor horror as the buildings burned. We shook our heads in disbelief. We shed agonizing tears of sorrow. We outwardly questioned why or who could do such a thing. Not one American was safe from the pain inflicted by this horrible tragedy. I will never get se forget September 11, 2001, and neither will any of you. We have all our own unique story about one moment in time that we all collectively share. And this, according to Renan, is the very stuff that comprises the contents, big or small, of our collective soul, of our nation, the United States of America. However, this is only part of who we are. According to Renan, the grief we feel and the memories of the grief we all feel felt because of September 11th are important, not because they constitute some moment we label as the past, but more to the point, they offer a challenge to all in the present. Yeah. You see, a nation is not a government, nor is it a religion, yeah. an ethnic identity, or a language. Yeah. A nation is a group of people who share a past and who every day decide to continue to share this past. Obviously, some days are easier to remember than others. Some days, like September 11th, bring strong memories, even years later, that evoke strong feelings of sorrow and anger. But today, this nation exists not because we uh, simply share memories of a horrible day. Rather, this nation exists because despite the intentions of our enemies to break our spirits, breach our foundations, 
and split us apart from one another. We on September 12th, 2001, dried our tears, picked one another up, dusted ourselves off, and decided to carry on as a nation together. We were bruised and battered, but we were more united and more determined to remain a nation than I can ever remember. And I've never been prouder to be an American citizen than I was that day. Because that day we not only showed the world what it truly means to be a citizen of a nation called the United States of America, we added a chapter to a book that bound together makes up a wonderfully rich heritage and the soul of our nation. So as we remember September 11th and the horrible tragedy that this date will always represent, let us not forget that every day we recreate this nation through the commitment we make to our nation and to each other. And to those Americans who throughout time have placed or placed themselves in harm's way to protect and to defend our right to be a nation, I stand in your presence humbled and eternally grateful. Thank you.